Time for your ABC 36 Storm Team forecast. Really nice start to the week here in central and eastern Kentucky in the wake of that departing front. We really knocked temperatures down and north wind adding a fall-like feel to the air and the tranquil fall weather that is on tap really for the entire week. A bit on the chilly side the next few mornings. Lows are going to be in the low to mid 40s, so we're really kind of shifting into that October pattern. Afternoon highs are going to stay pretty close to average here. Visible satellite Quiet, in fact, almost looks like a blank base map because there's just nothing going on. You have to go all the way into eastern Pennsylvania to catch a few scattered clouds. Otherwise, we got a lot of blue skies uh, through the entire region. Mount Sterling in front of Montgomery County Courthouse. Nice, pleasant 68. Note your winds out of the north northeast. They've been 10 to 15 at times. They'll begin to back off a bit. Nice and sunny. Casey County near Liberty. Same drill there at the Kentucky Mesonet site. 67 degrees. It's 70 here in Lexington. Frankfurt at 70. 64 in Danville. 70 in London. And compared to 24 hours ago, look at the difference. Good 15, 16 degrees cooler. We kind of overachieved a bit yesterday with temperatures spiking all the way up into the mid 80s ahead of that frontal boundary. Those dew points low, meaning some very dry air. High pressure off to our west. Clockwise flow around it. And that's going to continue to push that very moderate air into the region. So a nice quiet pattern, the frontal system down to the south. And that's actually going to help that trough digging out uh, all the way uh, through the eastern part of the country, helping to steer Milton uh, toward the uh, central part of Florida as we go into the midweek here. Here at home this evening, nice and quiet, chilly tomorrow morning, low to mid 40s, and then we'll do it all again with sunshine. It'll feel good. I think we'll tack on a few degrees to afternoon highs into the low 70s. As far as rain chances, not looking at anything through the remainder of the week and even into the upcoming weekend. Uh, of course, uh, we've got high pressure and control, as mentioned, so we're looking good on Wednesday. Temperatures into the mid-70s, and then we'll see a little boundary, a little backdoor front in here. Northeast winds coming around high pressure over the Great Lakes. That's going to push temperatures back maybe a, a couple of degrees. Of course, a big weather story, Hurricane Milton, 5 o'clock advisory. Max winds, yes, 180 miles per hour sustained. Look at that well-defined eye just off to the northwest of the Yucatan Peninsula. Pressure down to 905. Standard sea level pressure in millibars is 1,013. Uh, so this is one of the lowest pressure readings that we've had in the Atlantic Basin. Now, it's going to potentially strengthen even more as it moves by to the north of Cancun. Now, the environment over west of Florida here uh, is a little less conducive for it to hold this crazy strength that it has right now. But make no mistake about it, it's going to make landfall as a major hurricane in the Tampa area, potentially down toward Fort Myers, and even, notice the, again, the cone of uncertainty here up toward the Big Bend. So a lot of the same areas toward Tampa that dealt with Helene a couple of weeks ago going to see this storm surge. They've increased it as of the 5 o'clock advisory in purple here. Tampa, St. Pete, Bradenton, down towards Sarasota, Venice, Siesta Key, all those areas, 10 to 15 foot surge. Just think of the wall of water, ocean water for quite a while, just rushing on shore. And that's why those evacuations all important. And of course, those hurricane warnings extending all the way uh, through Orlando into central Florida. Quiet weather here at home, clear skies, chilly tonight, 45, 72, lots of sunshine, beautiful Tuesday on tap, and the extended forecast looking good into the weekend. Nice evening for Kentucky and Vandy out of Kroger Field. Now, there will be another front late next weekend. It'll be breezy. We're going to go from upper 70s, possibly only into the low 60s for afternoon highs this time next week.